Hey, welcome back to ASMR Night. My name is Sam, uh, and it's been a while since I've popped into this space. Today, we'll just be quiet, talking, and a little bit of affirmations in case you're feeling like you're in a lower space. And you just want to feel supported and comfort and some unconditional love coming your way from a stranger, not stranger. Let's start with a set on intention with a candle. I got this at a local candle store and it's for anxiety. I don't know if you experience anxiety. I think it had bergamot, bergamo, I don't know how to say it. And it smells amazing. <laughs> Would you like to smell it? Before I light the candle, maybe think of an intention that you'd like to set before we start. An intention could be how you want to feel when you wake up in the morning. An intention or a mantra that I carried for a long time was do it afraid. Because I took a lot of big steps in my life that were scary. And there's no way to do them without doing them afraid. Maybe your mantra or your intention is to love fiercely. Maybe to love yourself fiercely or fake it till you make it. And then love yourself fiercely. It's whatever it is. Even it can just be a word. It could be love or sleep kindness, or gentleness. Just hold that word or that phrase and imagine it's written across your chest. Just holding there in your heart space. And then close your eyes if you feel good about that. And then take a big breath in through your nose. And the breath out of your nose. One more breath in through the nose. And a breath out of the mouth. Allow yourself to relax and to ease into this moment. I'm going to light or smell a good candle. I love it when the flame pops. A gigantic flame pops. Well, I'm getting all kind of a cool color reflections happening. Oh, it calmed down. We'll set our intention candle in a safe place. You don't have to worry about anything catching on fire. Next, I'd like to just check in with you. How are you? Not good. Not fine. How are you? How do you feel in your body? If you just focused in on your body for a moment and try to notice where you feel your body right now. 
could be a good feeling, or it could be a heavy feeling, tingly feeling, warm feeling. You know, if I'm anxious, I feel my body in my chest, or maybe in your throat if you're trying not to cry, or you're struggling to say words that you need to say. I'm just going to notice where you're holding things in your body. And as we move throughout this little time together, imagine that those parts are getting softer and softer and softer. Imagine them getting so soft and loosening up and maybe some of them coming up and out with your breath. So maybe, maybe we don't have to carry quite so much. Or maybe we can let it go just for a little while, even if we know it's going to come back. It's not about being perfect. It's not about pretending everything is fine and stuffing it in a box and ignoring it. I do that sometimes. It's about knowing or acknowledging the heaviness or the sadness or the grief and allowing it to exist and allowing ourselves to continue to thrive while still seeing that little box over there. And then when we're ready, we're in a space that feels safe. We can go open the box and see what's in there. We can see what feelings we've been holding on to, what hopes we've been holding on to, maybe these ideal images that we thought our life would be, and maybe they're not yet, and maybe they won't be ever, because maybe we can't even imagine what our future would look like, because it's so much greater than our imagination. So I encourage you right now to just focus on the next right thing. Maybe the next right thing is going to sleep and closing your eyes. Maybe the next right thing is taking a shower and feeling good in your body. Maybe the next right thing is finishing that work assignment, finishing that website, going on a walk, and seeing what kind of beauty you can find. Notice the cracks in the sidewalk. Go touch a tree. Notice the smells around you. Notice the flower buds starting to form depending on where you live. Just noticing things without having to change them. Noticing the things you feel in your body without having to change them, without having to judge them as good or bad. They just are. And I'll stop talking for a moment. Give us some sounds besides the vibration of my voice. This is a book covered in cloth full of blank pages. I lied and said that I was going to stop talking, but I don't think that is possible. This book has intentions behind it. I'm a writer and I wanted to write something focused. I've had journals just full of information or full of whatever thoughts came out, but I wanted this focused. I've had ideas for fiction books that I've wanted to write because most of my work is copywriting, but I never make time for it. Kind of like I never made time to make these videos, even though I love ASMR and I love 
connecting with you. So this is my intention to make time for the things that really matter to me. Even if that means sacrificing some other things to achieve them. And this book has the intention of focusing on one story instead of all the millions of stories that I know I could tell. But that prevent me from telling one story because I'm overwhelmed. In the first page, I'm going to read to you, because maybe you can carry it with you too in your whole life. So what story will you tell? We all have a story. Allow it to flow, uninhibited, no matter what. Tell a story. When I tell a story, it opens space for you to tell a story. And when you tell a story, it opens space for someone else to tell their story. And then our world is full of stories and art and magic. Okay, I'll be quiet now. I have one final sound that I'd like to share with you. And you can watch it while you listen or just close your eyes and allow the sound to wash over you. Hopefully it's not too loud. It's one of my favorite chimes. My best friend. My best friend loves things that have the moon on them. And I know this is the sun. But it always reminds me of her.
I'm just keeping it short and simple today. I value transparency and honesty and vulnerability in other people. So I work on allowing those things from myself as well. And if you've made it this far, know that I'm going to continue showing up. And I'm also going to continue being human. Those fears that I don't have enough time, that I'm not good enough, and every excuse that you could imagine on why I should film or I shouldn't film or I should write a book or I shouldn't write a book or I should work instead of play or play instead of work and what I'm learning right now is that all I can do is the next right thing and the next right thing for me is to be here with you until we meet again <laughs>